Hi there, my name is Alex, and I live in a town called Bookerton. Bookerton has a great community of readers and companions called Curiosos. Have you ever seen one before? They're magical creatures that love to read and help their friends. As we read more and more together, they start to look different, and I can customize them however I want. One thing we all love to do in Bookerton is read together and to each other. So I wanted to read a book to you today. And as we read, I'll ask you a few questions along the way. The story we're about to read is about immigrants who are excited to become American citizens. Do you know what immigration is? Immigration is the act of leaving one's homeland or home country to enter a new country like America and make a new life there. Immigrants have done great things like sharing their languages, cultures, food, ideas, and so much more to help the United States become the country it is today. Do you know anyone who's from another country who has come to live in the United States? Let's hear about the immigrants in this story and learn about their journeys to becoming American citizens. This story is called the Day They Became Americans. It's written by Anne Veal and illustrated by Elena Ferry. Su Ling, Wan, and Anna grew up in different countries. Their first languages were different. So were their traditions. If you saw them, you might think they had little in common. But today, they had something big in common. Here it says, but today they had something big in common. Who is the they referring to here? That's right, Su Ling, Wan, and Anna. Let's read it again. Su Ling, Wan, and Anna grew up in different countries. Their first languages were different. So were their traditions. If you saw them, you might think they had little in common. But today, Su Ling, Wan, and Anna had something big in common. They had passed a test about America. Now they could become Americans. They were going to a special event at the courthouse to become citizens. Su Ling got up before dawn. She made tea. Her family in China always drank the same tea. She missed them. What do Su Ling, Wan, and Anna all have in common? They come from the same country. They are going to the same event. Or they have the same traditions. That's right. They are going to the same event. How do we know that? Here it says, they were going to a special event at the courthouse to become citizens. And then we learned a little bit more about Su Ling. Su Ling got up before dawn. She made tea. Her family in China always drank the same tea. She missed them. Still, Su Ling knew how proud they were of her. She thought about how her life would change when she became an American citizen. The government would protect her in many ways, and she could vote. She wanted to help choose her new country's leaders. How does Su Ling feel about becoming an American citizen? She is excited because she will be able to vote. She is worried about how her life will change. Or she is proud of her family. That's right. She is excited because she will be able to vote. She says that here, and she could vote. She wanted to help choose her new country's leaders. Voting is one of the most important things you can do in America to ensure your voice and your needs are heard. Let's learn more about Juan. Juan shined his shoes. He put on his nicest clothes. He even wore a tie. He made sure he had the correct address for the event. He took the papers he needed. Then Juan rode the subway downtown. Juan grew up in Mexico. 
At big family get-togethers, he and his cousins had played games and watched TV. Juan liked the police shows best with their tense court scenes. He pictured himself there, on a jury, helping decide a case. Only citizens can be on a jury. Where does a jury decide a case? In a police station? In a court? Or in a home? That's right, in a court. How do we know that? We know because the word there here is standing in place of court. So this says he pictured himself there at court on a jury helping decide a case. Only citizens can be on the jury. It sounds like that's really important to Juan. Every citizen has a really important role in upholding the rules of law and order. Anna looked at the clothes in her closet. She touched her favorite dress. Her mother had sent it all the way from Nigeria. It had bright colors and a bold pattern. It looked like the dresses her mother and aunts wore to special events. Anna was proud of her African roots. What does it mean that she was proud of her African roots? That's right. She's proud of her family history or heritage. She put on the colorful dress. Then she stepped out her front door. When I return home, she thought, I will be an American. The courtroom was full of people from all over the world. A judge said special words called an oath. An oath is like a promise. Together, the people repeated the words of the oath. They promised to support and defend the laws of the United States of America. Su Ling, Juan, and Anna faced the flag. They all placed a hand over their heart. Then they said the Pledge of Allegiance. They had tears in their eyes, tears of joy and hope for the future. They were now American citizens. It's important to remember that each one of us has a story. Knowing this reminds me how unique we are and how important it is to listen and learn and grow from one another. What do you think? I hope you'll come back and tell me soon.